Good evening. In the PJs. So you know I'm in bed. Or getting ready for bed. It's half past nine on a Wednesday night. I hope you enjoy that view I showed you. I took a drive down to Hive to the seafront just to see what it's like. And it seems like there are some spaces that you can park and stay. So I found potentially somewhere to stay in the future at Hive. I was just going for Amazon as well and I've started ticking off the list and we'll go through the list together actually of your suggestions and what I can currently do at the moment but I've gone through Amazon and I've ordered a power station because of the prime deal it's £300 saving I've gone for a jackery with a solar panel that will allow me to now charge devices and stuff within the van people said get electric blanket plug that into the jackery as well so these are the reasons why I sort of gone for it and there's some other bits I'll be looking at as well I should in the next couple of weeks have the soundproofing and the insulation coming in because as you can see the conversation's getting really there you see it it's building up so that's ordered and there's a few other bits like a curtain to separate the cabinet it's all coming together in bit by bit but what I wanted to go through tonight was I wanted to talk about it's dark now light was these devices they are LED lanterns they'll go dark for a second but they are by I think their brand is Nightlight it's really hard to see yeah Nightlight is what they're called let me just try and show you on the logo. Night light. That's what they're called. And I just want to say they're really, really good. So they take three AA batteries. They've been sitting in my drawer for two years with the batteries in. Not being used. Now they're being used all the time. But obviously you lift them up like a lantern. So you can carry them with handles. They have a hook on the bottom. So you can hook it to places. And they also have magnets. So like I've been doing, I have one stuck up here, and I have one stuck there. So it gives me pretty much enough light for what I need. And then as I start winding down a bit more, I normally push this one in first, just to dim it. Then I have just a little bit of light coming from there, just enough to see in the van, but not overload the eyes. And I just think they're brilliant. I mean, for the next few months, they're going to be getting used a lot, so I will have to get some spare batteries. It's raining again. Yesterday, the rain was insane, bouncing off the roof. It was bucketing down. It was bang, 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 bang. It wasn't like pitter patters like it is now. It was really hitting hard. I was like, oh. Woke me up, and I thought it was morning. It was only 10 past 12, midnight. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're on Amazon. Um, I just wanted to mention them. To be honest, I'm not after sponsorships or affiliate clicks. They were bought for me, and I didn't really use them when I was camping. Be sitting in the drawer, and then since moving in here, I've stuck them to the, the roof and the sides, and I use them every night, and I think they're fantastic. So. If you're just starting and you've got like tenner, you could buy these. I think you get four in a pack. Stick them to your metal while you've still got metal exposed, and you've got lighting, and you ain't got. I've got no power bank or any way of powering up lights. This works perfectly. So yeah, night lights. N i t e l i t e. Definitely good if you're doing um bare minimum at the beginning stages like I am I highly recommend it I'm just looking around if you can see all that condensation condensation that reminds me of family guy uh, I rubbed it and now it's all dripping in my face that's what she said so yeah I just thought that was brilliant. 
if people uh, use them, let me know what you think of them. Long term, once I put the cladding up and the sides are all blocked off, I'm not going to have the exposed metal. But I can still stick them on the outside of the van when I'm doing stuff. But they do still have the ha handles to carry. You can still stand them on things. They have a little handy hook. And I might even look at getting some Velcro, sticking it to the bottom and Velcroing them to places. Because they are quite, I, I like them. And I think even when I get the power bank, if they last long, it's probably worth just investing batteries into these and keeping the power bank purely for my phone, laptop and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that was it. I just wanted to talk about these little devices, these little lanterns that were gifted to me by family. And now I really appreciate them. I think they're fantastic. The van hasn't changed much. It's still the first week. It's all over the place. But things are looking a lot more organised in my head now. I sort of I'm gradually get in there with how things are going to progress. So in the next week, you'll see the the, the um, sound deadening stuff going in. And hopefully like the insulation. It'll be exposed. It'll be sitting around. Then it could be another couple of weeks before I look at putting either the carpet on the sides and then learning how to put cladding on the roof. Don't the ceiling, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I know you might go into this, but we will get to that stage when we get to it. And these little plastic crates, can't really see it here, it's dark. Foldable ones. I'm going to go back to my parents at some point and see if I can pull out all the ones I had stored there because I'm for now I'm going to just stack them four up four across and use them as my storage and the ottoman is going to go it didn't work as good as I thought it would I thought it was going to be like a chair I could sit on and easily get to stuff it didn't work it's, just, it's really awkward to get in and out of that space and my clothes, yeah, it's really hard to manage your clothes and everything else, so the Ottoman's gonna go. I'll probably try and set it, maybe for a tenner, 15 quid if I can. Try and get some money back and invest it into the next bits. But yeah, that's it. Just a little update. Love these little lights. Hope to use them many more times in the future. If you've used these before, let me know. If you've got other suggestions for really good lights to use, let me know because once it's all blocked off I will need some suggestions and I'm not going to wire lights in so they're going to have to be things like this or stick on lights, tap ones I don't know but I'm going to have an external power source, power bank that's going to power the lights either for USB or batteries like this let me know in your comments thanks for watching it's, it's, it's a funny old world in a little van but I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it speak soon stay awesome take care